Now I've got a slightly different example for you, but it proves the point about being careful about whether or not your price ceiling is binding or not. So now we're going to look at the market for new books, and what we're asking is what is the quantity demanded if a price ceiling is set at $20. Same process as before, you always want to figure out what the market clearing price is. So we'll set the quantity demanded, which is 325 minus 8p equal to minus 60 plus 3p. We'll collect terms, so I'll move this over. We get 11p, and we'll move that over. We'll get 385, and in this particular case, doing a little bit of division here, the market clearing price is $35. Now, that means the market price is higher than the price ceiling. So this right here is binding. And because it's binding, all we do then is plug in the binding price to figure out what the quantity demanded would be. And so we'll go ahead and plug this in for QD. So here's QD. And we're trying to figure out what that would be when the price is 20. So we get 325 minus 8 times 20, which is 325 minus 160 which would be 165 units. So in this particular case, consumers uh, are going to want 165 units of the good um, because the price ceiling has been set uh, artificially low. What would consumers have bought if the market was not subject to a price ceiling? Well, then we could just come back over here to figure this out. So if I were to plug in the QD, 325 minus 8 times 35. Now I get 325 minus 280, which is 45. So if we had a free and open market, consumers would have bought 45 units because the price would have risen to 35. But in this case, because the price is set below the market clearing price, consumers want 165 units, which is exactly what you expect. And of course, because consumers want a lot more, and at the same time, producers of hard, uh, hardback books aren't going to make as many, uh, what we would get is we'd get a uh, shortage of uh, textbooks um, at a price of $20. Hope that's helpful to you, but again, keep these two examples in mind. You always plug in, figure out what the market price is, and you ask, is this binding or not? And that determines how you actually solve the solution.